So I went ahead and applied my base makeup and my brows because in this classic collection it only comes with lip liners, lipsticks, and an eyeshadow palette. So I just went ahead and did that off camera. But I figured we could play around with the eyeshadow palette first. So I didn't even think to sit down to film this tutorial and swatch video of the KKW Beauty Classic Collection until after I threw away the packaging, which I don't know why, because I feel like whenever I buy the Kylie, like, summer collection or whatever collection she comes out with I almost always sit down and like show you guys like a tutorial and swatches and stuff and I don't know why I didn't think to do that with this so I don't have any of the original packaging so I apologize but I mean I guess at the end of the day all that matters is the product right so this is the eyeshadow palette it's very sleek looking super like this nude color and then it says KKW Beauty in like a clear nude on top of it I like this palette I think it's just like so simple straight to the point but it's still like nice looking you know what I mean so it definitely has a little rock pro palette vibe to it but when you open it up you do get a mirror and then you get 10 shadows in it so in here we have one two three let's see one two three four five six seven mattes and three shimmers which is perfect. Sometimes when I get palettes, they only have like two mattes and then the rest are like shimmers and I'm just like, what am I supposed to do with this? You know what I mean? So it's nice that you can create an entire matte look because you have everything from like a light cream shade to a transition shade. Then you have a couple of like peachy tones in here and then a couple of matte brown shades. So I feel like this palette would be a good everyday palette. If you just wanted something simple, you could go with the cream shade and then a little bit of the darker kind of tan brown shades in your crease and call it a day or if you wanted to amp it up and do a daytime glam you could definitely smoke it out with some of these darker shades or pop a shimmer you could also use like one of the shimmers all over your lid and call it a day I feel like you could get a lot of use out of this palette I guess is what I'm saying because it is just a bunch of like warm tones with some shimmers but I think for today I'm going to try to use as many of these shades as possible just so I could get a good feel for the palette so the first shade I'm obviously going to go in with is the matte cream cream shade right here and that is called Chicago. I always get so confused on how to read these. Is it called Gemini or Fade? Like I have no idea if this is supposed to match back here because this could either be Fade or Gemini. So I'm just going to point to the shade. It's this matte cream shade right here and I'm going to place that all over my lids. So there is actually this isn't like a matte cream shade. There is like a little bit of a color to it. So I guess depending on your skin tone, you could probably use this shade as your transition shade. So I'm just going to plop that into the crease. I was going to put it all over my lid, but I changed my mind. So I'm just going to put it directly into my crease. Kind of build it up a little bit. Yeah, you can definitely see this. I thought it was going to be more you know like a cream shade kind of like a concealer shade now i'm going to go in with this shade right here and put that into the crease just to deepen that up Ooh, this is pretty it's kind of like a camely shade it reminds me of this shade from makeup geek what was it called I'm not sure i think it was from like her desert palette what was that called I'm not sure or no it was the Vegas palette it reminds me of a shade that's in that palette but yeah you could definitely just plop this in the crease add some mascara and you're done I actually quite enjoy this second shade here I really like it Okay, so let's go in with, let's see, we could go two directions. We could stick with the browns or we could do like the peachy shades. So I'm going to go in with a more precise blending brush. This is a Morphe G13 and I'm going to take this pretty like peachy shade right here and put that into my crease. I'm just going to kind of pat first and then blend. Ooh, this is really pigmented. This would be a really pretty all over lid shade as well. This 
is the first eyeshadow I've tried from Kim and I really like it like I really like Kylie's makeup the only thing I've tried from Kim so far is just like the contour palette the contour highlighting palette and then her lip products but I've never tried her eyeshadows and I actually really enjoy this like I really like this so far okay so now I'm gonna go in with this shade down here and I'm gonna apply that in the outer part of my eye I feel like this darker shade that I'm using right now is like a really unique shade and then that peachy pink shade is like really unique to me as well I'm just gonna kind of build that up a little bit I'm gonna go back in with my fluffy brush and I'm gonna mix the two shades together and put those in the crease starting at the outer corner and then blending to the center need to go back in and add the transition shade that I used the kind of camely color shade and I'm just gonna apply that above so you can see it because I kind of blended it away okay so back to this brush and I'm gonna take a little bit of this darker shade and apply that into the outer corner. Ooh, this shade would be good for like a smoked out liner. Just kind of like brushing it from the outer corner into the center of my eye okay and I'm just gonna kind of wipe off this brush I'm gonna go back in with the peachy shade and put that back into my crease I'm just going to deepen up my crease with a little mixture of these two shades down here. And I always like to bring my crease shade like right above my natural crease so that way my eyes look bigger like it looks like I have more lid space. I know I'm not really doing anything to my lids, but that's just because I'm putting, I plan on putting a shimmer there, so that's why they kind of look all weird. I'm not really like blending them. All right, so let's go in with this shimmer shade right here. I'm gonna use my finger. Ooh, wow, okay, that's really pigmented. And I'm going to apply that from like the, I'm going to apply that from like the inner corner to about the center. Well, a little bit of this shimmer goes a long way. This is really pigmented and I'm like my fingers dry. I think I am going to bring this kind of rusty shade all over the lid and then I'm just gonna deepen it up with that matte brown shade because I want to put that gold like right in the center I'm 
and I know a lot of people just like to keep their shimmers like directly on the lid but like I said I like to bring my shimmers up into the crease because I want you to kind of be able to see it when my eyes are open and not just be able to see like my shimmery lid shade when my eyes are closed and then again I feel like it just makes my lid space look bigger so I'm just gonna go in with a tiny bit of it on the brush just to put a little bit up there Now I'm gonna take the gold shade up here, use my pinky this time, and I'm gonna put that directly in the center right above my eye, like my pupil. And I'm gonna kind of stamp it all the way up so it goes up at the center like a halo. Okay, so now I'm going in with the dark brown shade and I'm just going to put that back in my outer part of my eye just to give me some more depth. I'm just patting the shadow there. Now I'm going to take this shade and that's going to be my inner corner highlight and my brow highlight. I think this like these three shades right here would be the perfect like everyday glam like you could put this shade all over the lid this shade as your transition shade and then that on your lid as well just for like a pop of shimmer So I'm going to go in with this shade right here and put that on my lower lash line. Next in with this shade right here, I'm going to put that closer to the lash line. Just remembered why I put my bangs back when I do my makeup. I was like, oh, today I'm just gonna leave them down and just do my makeup, but man, it's hard to do it. Hopefully you guys can see everything I'm doing. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with this shade and put that in the outer part of my eye and kind of blend to the center. Next with a tiny bit of that dark brown shade just so I can marry the top like my eyelid in with my lower lash line. Should we put a little bit of shimmer on the lower lash line? I kind of want to. I'm going to put a smidge of that pretty coppery shade just right in the middle of my lower lash line. And then a little bit of the shimmery gold shade directly in the center of that. I really like this palette. So I'm just going to jump off and apply some mascara, liner, and lashes and I'll be right back to show you guys the lip products. So I just went ahead and applied a little bit of MAC Costa Riche eyeliner in my waterline and then I also tightlined with it. And then the lashes that I'm wearing are the Ardell 3D Foam Mink 854 lashes. So let's go ahead and swatch these lip products. I have four lip liners and four lipsticks. So before I forget to tell you, this palette does retail for $45. I think that's fair, um, especially because I would classify KKW Beauty as like a high-end, you would buy it at Sephora type of brand. Um, I do think it's worth the $45. I think it's really pretty, and I'm just like mentally comparing it to other palettes that are around the same price. When I bought this, I think I bought it as a bundle, but I just looked at the website right now to tell you guys the price, and it looks like you have to buy the lipsticks, the lip liners, and the palette separate now. So let's go ahead and swatch the four lip liners. This is what they look like. They're just a matte 
nude packaging and then they say KKW Beauty in black and then the name of the lip liner and all that good stuff. Now these these are exactly like Kylie lip liners. Have you ever had to like go like this to get the lip liner to come out? That's what this is. So I don't like that. I love the product. I love the like formula of the lip liners, but these type of lip liners are just like such a pain to sharpen and they always like fall back into the case and you constantly have to do this. Like I hate that more than anything. So that would probably actually like I don't know. I wish that they would just come out with either make these like the twist up lip liners or make them more of like a pencil, like a MAC lip liner where you sharpen and you don't have to worry about the product falling back into the pencil. It's just like the weirdest thing ever. So these lip liners do retail for $12 a piece. This one right here is Peach One. You can see there it is definitely a nude peach shade. But you can see how it already started to go back into the like shaft of the pencil that drives me absolutely insane then we have peach number two you can see that right there then we have peach three which is definitely like a more corally peachy pink peach shade then we have peach four and this is the darkest of them all so they're definitely all like in the peach family just darker versions of a peach shade so I don't know how I feel about peach one because I just feel like I don't know maybe that would be good to like overline your lips with and then kind of do like a lip contour with the darker shades so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the lipsticks underneath the lip liner so we could just see what they look like together so this is the lipstick packaging it's just a clear acrylic these retail for $18, which is, I mean, I guess that's like fair. It just seems like a little steep to me, but I mean, I guess most of the other high-end lipsticks are what, 40, 50 bucks. So this is what it looks like. You open it up and it has like a matte nude kind of insert in it. Ooh, that is really pigmented. Just one swipe. And it does, it doesn't really have a smell to it. I thought it was going to smell like vanilla, but it didn't. So now we have peach number two. They're really, really pigmented. Kind of like, it feels like a thick formula as well. Interesting. Peach three. Like one swipe. It like, they're really pigmented. It's weird. They're like a creamy matte formula. Then we have peach four, which is the darkest shade. So here are the lip liners and the lipsticks together. So we have peach one, peach two, peach three, and peach four. I think just by looking at it, the ones that I would probably wear the most, if I'm being honest, I don't think I would ever wear peach four. I just don't really like reds, even though this is like a red orange. Um, when I like orange shades on my mouth in particular, I want like a blue based kind of orange, which is really hard to find. And if I'm going to wear a red, I want it to be blue based because I feel like anything with like an orange undertone like makes my teeth look yellow, unless I have a tan. But yeah, so I probably wouldn't really wear peach for lip liner or peach for lipstick just because that's not like my thing but I feel like peach three lip liner and peach three lipstick is like that corally pink shade it'd be perfect for the summer I really love those kinds of shades for my like summer makeup I think I'd get the most wear out of peach one and peach two lipsticks that is I don't think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of peach one lip liner because it is super light but peach two I think that I would probably use a lot I don't know if it's just me but I don't feel like these lip colors necessarily go with this palette like they do but they don't you know what I mean I don't know okay so now I'm gonna pair peach one lip liner with peach one lipstick on my lips so we could see what that looks like It's so light, like you can't even see it. And look, it already went back like in the tube. Like why? Ugh. Really creamy, really pigmented. Definitely not my first choice of a lip liner just because I don't really like, I don't really like the shade of it for a lip liner. I like more like nude shades of lip liner or like a brown. So now I'm gonna go in with the lipstick. My lips are so chapped. I've been like applying a bunch of chapstick and like nothing's helping.
like I just feel like using a matching lip liner that matches the lipstick that's this light there's like no definition in my lips and it just kind of like I feel like it just washes my lips out does that make sense like I feel like this shade with a brown lip liner or a darker lip liner would look 10,000 times better because like right now I just feel like it's just like I do like the shade of the lipstick it is something that I would wear it reminds me of Lime Crime Cosmopop was that the name of it um but it reminds me of that the formula is a little like it's weird because it's like so thick and creamy it's not matte I don't know why I said that but the formula is definitely not matte even though it kind of looked matte on my hand but anyways it's like a thick cream and because it is so thick like I feel like it kind of like just like melts on my mouth and I don't know how I feel about that you know what I mean hmm so anyways this is peach one lip liner and peach one lipstick Okay, so I believe Peach 2 lip liner was the one I thought I would use the most. Do you see how it gets stuck in there? Like, like it's really hard to do your lip liner when it's like barely poking out. I feel like you definitely need to use a light hand when you apply these lip liners or they're going to break. I do like this lip liner. I like it better than Peach 1. I don't really like Peach 1 lip liner at all. So let's go ahead and put on Peach 2 lipstick. Do you get a lot in here? Yeah, I guess you get quite a bit of lipstick. Again, I think I would wear this shade of lipstick, but not with the matching lip liner. I'm just like not all into the matchy, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like when I saw the swatches, I liked them better, you know, like when I saw them online. And then now I'm just like, I don't want, like, it would be nice to have a matching lip liner if you needed to go in and, like, fix your lipstick and you wanted it to, like, all go together, you know what I mean? But I need that, like, darker lip liner. Like, that is just something I personally like. I am not all for the matching lip liner with the matching lipstick. But I do like this shade of lipstick. I don't know how I feel about the formula of these lipsticks, though. So this is Peach 2 Lip Liner and Peach 2 Lipstick. Okay, let's go in with peach three. I would almost rather use these for like an all over lip color, you know? Okay, now I'm gonna go in with the peach three lipstick. I think this is definitely my favorite one so far. It looks way more orange though on the lips than it did in the swatch. Like on my hand it looked more like a corally pink shade, you know what I mean? Like a hot coral. But on the lips it looks like orange, like straight orange, which I'm okay with. I just thought it was going to be a little bit more like pinky coral, you know what I mean? Because that's what it looked like on my hand. So this is Peach 3 Lip Liner and Peach 3 Lipstick. That one definitely stained my lips a little bit. So now we're going to go in with Peach 4, which I, it might be my least favorite, but I don't know, maybe it'll look different on the lips. Now in with Peach 4 Lipstick. This one's definitely my least favorite shade. I feel like when I went to buy this collection, one, I love the eyeshadow palette, no complaints. But I feel like when I was like, mm, I'm gonna get all the peach lip liners and peach lipsticks, they're gonna be perfect for the spring and summertime. And like, I was just like, yes. I feel like I was just like, yes, I love peach shades. Like Apricot and Dirty Peach from Kylie. I love those shades. They're so flattering. Like they're liquid lipsticks, but they're so flattering on me. I just like love them. Like I'd wear them every day. I think that's kind of what I was thinking when I bought the peach lip products from KKW Beauty. I shouldn't compare the companies, but it's hard not to, but I'm not feeling this. But if you love 
peachy orange shades I definitely would recommend these for sure me personally I probably only wear peach one and peach two maybe peach three but this is just not this is not a shade that I would wear I just I don't know I just I don't like it maybe with a tan like maybe if I get like a little bit of a tan or like a self tan or something like that I would like them more but just like on my skin tone right now I'm just like not feeling it I'm gonna try the peach two lip liner with the peach one lipstick and see what that looks like <laughs> I had to like super overdraw my lips because I kept wiping it and it kept getting like you know so I'm gonna have to go in with some concealer to fix that okay so now I'm gonna go in with the peach one and see they're so pigmented like I don't even know like what to do I'm just gonna apply it and then pat it in with my finger honestly that's probably the best way to apply these lipsticks because they are so pigmented and so creamy it probably would be better to just put a little bit in the center of your mouth and then blend it out with your finger Yeah, I feel like that looks so much better. I definitely like the lip combo more now that I have a darker lip liner with a lighter lipstick. I just can't, I can't mess with same color lip liner, same color lipstick. I don't know why. So now that I've tried out everything, I'm just going to let you guys know my final thoughts. So I love the eyeshadow palette. I definitely recommend this. I do think it's worth the $45. I love the mattes, love the shimmers. I have like zero complaints about this palette. I actually like it. I think $45 is a fair price, but she does do like promo codes every now and then for 20% off. So keep a lookout for that. But I do really like the eyeshadow palette. Okay, let's talk about the lip liners, pros and cons. Pros. Pigmented, creamy, beautiful shades. Even though the shade, not all the shades are necessary for me, I still think they're really pretty. All right, the cons. The packaging, I don't like. So I like how it looks, but I don't like how the lip liners fall back into like the shaft of the lip liner. To me, that is ridiculous, especially for the price of these. Like, I'd rather it be like a pencil where you can sharpen or a twist up. But really, I guess that's my only con is the packaging of these lip liners. I think the price is fair, 12 bucks, that's fair. But yeah, just like a different packaging. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't like that. Okay, let's talk about the lipsticks pros and cons. Pros, the lipsticks are super pigmented and really creamy. A little bit goes a long way. I do think the shades are beautiful, hence why I bought them. Even though they're not necessarily like my cup of tea, I do think the shades are really pretty. The packaging is nice and sleek. I don't mind it at all. I think it looks pretty. It's pretty and simple. So the only con that I can think of is I feel like the lipsticks are just a little bit too pigmented until I figured out that it looks best to apply in the center and then blend out with your finger. Trying to use the lipstick all around my mouth, it was just like too much, you know what I mean? It was like too much pigment, too much product, but applied with in the center and then blend it out with the finger is like the way to go with these lipsticks I feel like because just like trying to just do all this was just like too much product I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial swatches and review of the classic collection from KKW Beauty let me know if you guys have tried these out in the comments below and what you think also let me know if you've tried out any of our other products and if you like it I'll definitely pick it up and test it out on my channel um, thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you haven't already and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later. Bye!